Jay, you said it off the top. This was the <clears throat> hardest assignment I'd ever given you guys. Mm. It was for me. So let's do it. it We're going to build the ultimate modern-day Browns quarterback. You can only use a player once, so one player per attribute. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attributes, and those attributes are Steve Take Tag Board. And body, remember, the Browns don't have seven good quarterbacks since 99. No. Height, weight, combination, <laughs> no. arm strength, accuracy, speed, pocket awareness, leadership, and the clutch factor. Now, and as a group, we're going to come together and vote on we'll this. We'll pick one. one and decide which. Yeah. Okay. So we'll it start was, at the top. We're going to make our way top to bottom. You can only pick one quarterback once. Yes. Yeah. Like, so so yeah. for me, for body and arm strength, I, get, I struggled between Tim Couch for both of those. See, for and, arm and, strength, and, I went with uh, Joe Flacco. Oh, wow. You know, I really, I really didn't <laughs> even. Even though it wasn't a lot of starts. And, but, this, so, no, and real but, quick, Bull, just yeah. the one clarifying thing. Yeah. Like, for Flacco, you get Flacco last year. You don't get Flacco in 2012 when he was playing for Baltimore. Right. It's, it's only it's their time their in the Browns. Tenure. So RG3, I don't think he lost much on arm strength hey, no. between Baltimore I, and now. For body, I ain't going to lie, I had Deshaun Kaiser. Six foot four, 240. See, I had for body Derek Anderson. Yeah, he was big, really big. Yeah. Um, yeah I just thought, was... man, Tim Couch was... Yeah, I had Tim Couch, couch for was, something else. So yeah, do you I, want to save Tim yeah, Couch for I something had, else? Well, I, I don't know what else. You, I'm curious now to see what, <laughs> where, where, where you have we're, we're just going. Don't vote. Don't give away what you have. Them yeah. Okay. We gotta, yeah. Um, it's interesting because we, we named three different guys for, for body. Um, and you know what? I'm fine with any of the three. I mean, as long as I, I like, I like a bigger quarterback. Yeah. I like six. Well, anything all these over, guys all, were over six three. Couch. Couch was six three. Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser was and six Anderson. Three. For and sure, then, Anderson was yeah. like six six, six wasn't he? Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah. I'd be fine with Anderson. I, I, I would, I would like to keep Anderson <laughs> in for the somewhere next, else. For somewhere yes. else. I would, because like we ain't got much to pull from. Mm. Okay, so all you right. got Kaiser or Couch? Who do you like, Bull? I say go Kaiser only because. For me, I got couch something else. So okay, so let's throw Kaiser in as for the so in terms Sean of the Kaiser perfect quarterback body. Makes yeah. our There's nothing else good about him at, at all. <laughs> no, but he passed the look test. Yeah, he, he did. did. He definitely. For the record, I think that's the right answer because he doesn't fit anywhere else. No, you're gonna well, use him. But there's 25 well other there. quarterbacks that don't that's fit true. anywhere else yes. either. Yeah. All right, next we're going to arm strength. Yeah, that's Modern where I got Dave Flacco. Browns quarterback. Yeah. Whose arm strength would you put it? I have no calculus? problem with Flacco. F- Flack, he, I, for, I hadn't considered him because he, he was here now. for just a minute. I know, but holy even cow. Now, yeah. I, he, Derek Anderson had a pretty good arm, too. But yeah. but for like now, yeah, Flacco, he throws the ball through a ball. Flacco Valley it is. Yeah, so it is. there he goes. So body, Deshaun Kaiser. Yeah. Arm strength, Joe Flacco. Sounds good. Accuracy. <sighs> this one was tough for me. I'm not going to lie. It's real tough because – Deshaun Watson in Houston would have been the answer, but sure. And he's been, you know, his accuracy hasn't been terrible he's 60 here. Per, 62 percent, I think, as a Brown. Yeah, yeah. Man. Now let me throw this into the mix. Yeah. But I, you're saying just for your time for the Brown, because Baker Mayfield won the accuracy competition this past at the Pro Bowl. Right, but as a Brown, his accuracy his wasn't accuracy very good. Accuracy was way below. I thought below where it should have been. Yeah, um, it's in the fifties, I think. Jeez, who's this I, one's tough? I'm I, not gonna I lie. Really didn't Brian have a good answer this one. I don't know what was Hoyer's completion percentage when he was a Brown. Give me one sec. I don't remember yeah. him being inaccurate. N- no, I don't. Boy, we had some guys that struggled yeah. to complete 50% of their passes. Yeah, uh, Holy cow. Brian Hoyer, as a Brown, had a 56% completion yeah, percentage. That's, yeah, that's, that's not... going to be too low. That's not it. Can um, we go older? What about uh, – what a... Colt McCoy? Can I throw a uh, Colt McCoy out there? Where was Colt and, and his completion percentage? Not he was, good, you know. He was here for just a minute, Colt too. McCoy in Cleveland – See, I can't. I had a fifty-eight percent. Yeah, I, See, I, 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 need, I, I need my guy in the sixties. I, 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 and I can't. Burn. What was Baker during his uh, Browns years? As a member of the Cleveland Browns, Baker's career difference. completion percentage sixty-one point six. Oh, okay. Okay. You know who I think? That, I was think. You know who I think should be it? <laughs> so crazy. Jacoby Brissett, maybe. I think Jacoby. What's his completion percentage with the Browns? He completed 64% of his passes in oh. 16 games with the Browns. I mean, that might be the uh, best yeah, they've had. Could you imagine? Yeah. Could you imagine if that's the best they've is had? Is that the best they've had I, since 99? I, I think it is. I, I, I don't know how to sort I can't it. burn Brian Cypher Kozar yet. I can't do it. Well, it's only since 99. No, it's, 99. Oh, no, it's only yeah, since 99, 99. Oh, we're, we're, we're really screwed, Dan. We're, we're done. That's yeah. why I said this was such a hard yeah, exercise. I guess we got Brissett. Ty- Tyvis says Jeff Garcia. 
What was his completion Jeff, percentage you know in what? Cleveland, Jeff Garcia though. was very accurate. In Cleveland, his one season, he had a 57.1% <laughs> percent completion it. percentage. Yeah, not it. But I remember, I mean, this is, I remember this is Garcia. crazy. Being, yeah. It, but, God, is it Brissett? I mean, I don't think Baker – did Baker – what's Baker? Well, Baker was 61. Baker was 61. Brissett was higher than Baker. What about Kelly Holcomb? How many games did Kelly Holcomb even Kelly play? Kelly Holcomb. Not many. Uh, 63.7. He did play more games than Brissett. Okay. okay. I might have to go with Kelly Maybe Holcomb. It's Kelly All Holcomb. right, you can talk me into Kelly Holcomb. Right, you know what? If we miss someone, our viewers will let us know. <laughs> let us know, yeah. Because we don't have the list in front yeah, of us. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to go off my yeah, mind. Yeah. Yeah. So right. let's throw him in there because right, he's Kelly, not going right. to right. be in there for no. anywhere else. Is yeah, yeah, Kelly no. Holcomb. Okay. okay, so body Deshaun Kaiser, arm strength Joe Flacco, accuracy Kelly Holcomb. By the way, this Next is up. pathetic. All uh, right, pitiful. This is pathetic. I mean, beyond pitiful. <laughs> Next up, speed. Who takes the speed I think category? Deshaun. Is it Deshaun Watson? See, the first guy I thought of was RG3. It was RG3. But he was oh. here for a second. Was he still fast at that yeah. point? I don't know. No, I, it was post, I, post knee surgery. So, no. You don't, you don't think you don't think RG3 can Well, beat? RG3 said just a couple of years ago he still runs a 4 3 yeah. I doubt that. You don't think he could beat Deshaun He probably. I don't know. He probably I think could. RG3 yeah, could. Yeah, he probably could. Deshaun Watson's speed is like a 79. Okay, let's go with I think RG3 is probably technically the fastest that they've had. Seneca who, who, Wallace? You know who I put on here? And, and I don't know if you, I put Wallace Josh is. Cribbs on here because although See, he was never listed exclusively <laughs> right. as a quarterback, he played a lot of snaps at quarterback. He did, he did. technically. And he would be the fastest. I, I, I just feel like on this list. But I think it, RG3 is yeah. probably our I think guy. Let's go RG3. Could, you, uh, could you say Terrell Pryor? <laughs> Terrell Pryor. Did he actually play too? quarterback for the Browns? Yes. He yeah. Did. He was just like, like Sean Cribbs. Yeah. It, do you he want me to was, run through Jay real quick. Do you want to run through every quarterback that played a snap for the Browns since '99, just so you have well, in case 40. you're missing any? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it quickly. Yeah, go ahead. Tim Couch, Ty Detmer, Doug Peterson, Spurgeon, Wynn, Kelly Holcomb, Jeff Garcia, Luke McCown, Trent Dilfer, Charlie Fry, Derek Anderson, Brady Quinn, Ken Dorsey, Brad Gredkowski, Colt McCoy, Jake Delhomme, uh, Seneca Wallace. Brandon Whedon, Thad Lewis, Jason Campbell, Brian yeah. Hoyer, Brandon <laughs> Whedon, Johnny Manziel. <laughs> Who, oh, maybe for speed. Well, no. Uh, no. RG3, RG3, Cody Kessler, Deshaun Kaiser, Kevin Hogan, Tyrod Taylor, Baker Mayfield, Case Keenum, oh, Nick Mullins, yeah. Jacoby Brissett, Deshaun Watson, Joe Flacco, DTR, PJ Walker, or Jeff Driscoll. Hey, that, that, that Tyrod Taylor. It could be Tyrod. Ooh. Could be RG. I still I think RG3. RG's All right, let's go with RG3. RG3 let's was, stick with RG. I mean, right, RG3 let's for not speed. forget, RG3 was he a track. world-class oh, yeah. track athlete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's faster. So, I, I, I think we got to go he's with faster. All right, next up, pocket awareness. N slash A. <laughs> Pocket awareness. <laughs> the first. The we, we didn't. We don't even know how to say that. I mean, this. I can't remember a guy that I watched in a Browns uniform say, "Wow, now that guy's pocket aware." Josh McCown. I don't know why his name comes into my head. I. I don't know. Uh, you really could. We you know what we should do is make a wheel with all forty <laughs> quarterbacks' names on it and just spin it and see where it lands. And that's Case him. Keenum. Brian Hoyer. Hoyer. You know what? I Brian guess Hoyer? it would be Deshaun? like. Who was known for taking the fewest sacks? Yeah. Who? What are the other categories, real quick, Mike? After this, you have leadership and clutch factor. Clutch factor. I'm a hard pass. <sighs> I, I really tough. am, man. I I got no but I got nothing. Now I will say this, guys. Uh, it it because we're looking at a list that's so crazy that none of these guys, with the exception of Flacco, had any sustained success. No. I do think that. I feel like there's got to be a slot, maybe leadership for Baker. Because now remember, even though it got sideways and squirrely at the end, yeah. when he came out in that Jets game, yeah, everybody, liked everybody him. proclaimed, yeah, everybody we got him. him, we found him, and, here he is. Yeah. And, by and he way, was, and most of the guys that he's played I, with I think, say that he is I a leader. Baker is a weird, like, there's, there was things about him that were a good leader. I know. But and occasionally, like that when he talked about Duke Johnson. or he That was about horrible. Miles and Garrett. Do we give him a pass because that was early in his career? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you, we should have, to be fair, Baker has been the best quarterback they've had since 99. I mean, he yeah, has. So, let, let's, so, so he's got to be on there somewhere. You're not going to put him in clutch. No, nah, I can't put him in clutch. I, I, I would have to put him in leadership because to this day, people still like him. Like, yeah, let's and put the, him in leadership. The in I mean, there's no clear, like better answer for leadership. So, I put no, I mean, who you got? We'll Trent go for Dilfer? Baker for leadership. Okay, you know? so we have pocket awareness and clutch left. Okay, so and just to just to recap what we have so far: Deshaun Kaiser body, Joe Flacco arm strength, Kelly Holcomb accuracy, 
RG3 speed and Baker Mayfield for leadership. Could you imagine if the 49ers did this? <laughs> <laughs> the names that they would have up I there. Know. Oh. You know, and you know, we would just look at it and say, wow, yeah, we're, we really stink. Um, um, who, so we've got Clutch. I, for whatever reason, I want to put Tim Couch as Clutch. I, I want to put him as I just He did like have the Hail Mary that Yeah, won. the Hail Mary. I just feel like he was just screwed by the talent around him. Oh boy, he was. And if he had played with better talent, I feel like he would have been Clutch in big spots. Now, he also had pocket awareness. And by that, yeah. here's what I mean. He this got, pocket sucks. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> and he knew it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you, like, he avoided many more sacks than he actually had. Can you imagine God. what he would have had? There was a time when I just felt like he was a tackling dummy. Like every time he would drop, I would get excited when they get the ball off. Right. I'm like, it was yeah, a the success. Ball. Balls well, at least he got the ball away. Yeah, balls out. So let's, I, I'm fine with Tim at yeah, Clutch. Because yeah, I, I tell you, that that Hail Mary yeah. was oh, yep. something to see. So Deshaun Watson's not going to be on the list then. I mean, uh, I think you can make a case. Well, his maybe pocket, pocket awareness. awareness. Okay, let's and I like his pocket yeah. awareness actually. Yeah, so let's okay. give him that. Let's. I will give him. Pocket we have our yeah. prototypical we, we, we saw his pocket awareness against Baltimore. He was moving around. Yes, yeah. he does. I All will right. give him that pocket awareness. There it is. And Deshaun. I think that I actually I think that's where he belongs. There you go. Okay, so before we get to, I'll go final list. I have a question, then we'll show you the fan answers. Okay. Our final ultimate Browns quarterback, Steve. Don't take it. Anthony can export it. We have Deshaun Kaiser. With the body. Joe Flacco for the arm strength. Kelly Holcomb for accuracy. Speed for RJ3. Deshaun Watson for pocket awareness. Baker Mayfield as leadership. And Tim Couch as clutch. If that team was a – if that quarterback was a real player in today's NFL, where does that quarterback rank among modern-day NFL quarterbacks? Like top 22? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I actually like this quarterback. He's big. He's strong. He's very fast. He's not that accurate, but you know he can. He can. He has pocket awareness, but fourth quarter comes. I don't know if yeah. he's leading you back from There's a drive. Re- yeah. So he's guys. Our clutch quarterback is Tim Couch. Yeah. Now I love Tim. Yeah. He's, love him. You know, but, member of the show. Yeah. But yeah, no. When you think of the clutch quarterbacks that are even now, even though yeah. some, some really clutch quarterbacks have left the game recently, but. Even now, there are some guys in the league he, that are clutch. Even the like, Chiefs. The Chiefs could take half of Steve DeBerg's. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Was there, Joe Montana, Patrick was, Mahomes, and Alex Smith and just wash us. I, ah. Honestly, guys, Joe Flacco for arm strength is the only pick I felt good about. I'm, a, yeah. I'm in agreement with that. Everything yeah. else, I'm like, well, I got to pick somebody. No, you're right. Yeah. It was by default. And so, no, I, I'm with you. I think they'd be 20-something. Yeah, but, I think you, they, you, they would are, not be in the upper half for sure. No. And if you did it all time. We're in trouble. Oh, all time. We're in if trouble. you were to compare, if every franchise was to go through this oh, exercise, we're in we'd trouble. be thirty second. Yeah, yeah. Slam dunk, thirty second. Let's see who else could be in competition for the bottom. Jets. Jets. Now here's the thing. Well, how? Did the Jets get to count just since '99 too? No. If it's or all, their whole history. If it's all time. Because if we start throwing Bernie Kosar, Brian Seip, right. Otto Graham in there, then the conversation yeah, yeah, changes. Yeah, exactly. no, yeah. So it, I think it for this conversation, 90, it should be '99. It'd have close. to be '99. Yeah. Who the hell well, is the Jets? 99 through now, yeah, I mean, the Browns would be last. I mean, the Jets would be Jets probably not Jets first. Off. Jets, have first. Pen- they Jets would have pennings in. But think of every other team. And they would like have the Aaron Rodgers. The Saints have had Drew Brees. The Patriots, the Bears obviously, that's a The situation has been pretty terrible. Bears, Bears have not had good quarterbacks. That's true. Play. You're right. You're right. The Bears. Bears. Jay Cutler. Was Even when they than... won their Super Bowl in 85, Jim McMahon was a middling quarterback. Yeah. Right. They was didn't win because of Jim McMahon. They won in spite of Jim McMahon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did wow. a real but quick. But Jay Cutler, at his best, even though he's a flawed player, was better than was Baker, good. who's our yes. best since 99. You're right. No, he was. Yeah. I did a flash poll on the YouTube chat. Where yeah. does this ultimate Browns quarterback rank in today's NFL? First. Uh, 37% <laughs> said somewhere in the top 20. So. I can look. That's fine. That's, that's, well, I don't, I, that's a weird poll to put somewhere in the top yeah, 20. Yeah, that's a big. That's a big. Two, you so know. what were your other choices? Well, between. It, the biggest answer is between 10 and 20. Okay, so between you gave. 10 and 20. Top 10, I did top 11 five, to 20, top five, 21 to top 32. 10, top 20 or below 20. Okay. So. What were the other numbers? How did it shake out? 13% top five. Oh, come on. 30% top 10. <laughs> top five? So 43% say top 10. <laughs> <laughs> come I guess, on. Yeah. Yeah, all right, well, let's run through the fan answers. Ant, let's get these uh, the fan I responses can't. here. That's so disgusting. We put this on Twitter. Shout out to everyone who answered. We got, mm. I think, five or six I in can't. here. So, Ant, take this first one. First one comes from our guy, Evan E.Light. 
Body, Brandon Whedon. Arm strength, DTR. Accuracy, Jarvis Landry. Speed, RG3. <laughs> pocket awareness. <laughs> That's funny. That is, that is couch, funny. He's about to get sacked. <laughs> Leadership, Baker, and Clutch, uh, Philip Walker. <laughs> Philip Walker. <laughs> Thomas, Shout out to Tyvis on that one. All he does is win, 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 hey, no matter what. That tweet is, that tweet is classic. That, that is good. good. He stuck three inside jokes in there. Yeah. Uh, next good. one comes from our guy Tom Haynes. Body, Deshaun Kaiser. Arm strength, Derek Anderson. Accuracy, Mayfield. Speed. Watson, pocket awareness, McCown, leadership, yeah. Brissett, uh, that's a good and one Clutch, too. Tim this Couch. Act, this act, I like the this Brissette quarterback. as leadership is yeah. right. I, this quarterback is list. better than ours. That's a pretty good list. That's a did, pretty good did list. Did Tom beat us? I think he yeah, may he have. Does. Good one. He does. He may have Tom. Yeah. And Josh McCown never really got sacks like that. Uh, next one, Ant. J, not RJ, other J, at SKPMD says, body, Tim Couch, arm strength, Kaiser, accuracy, Mayfield, Kaiser. speed. Garcia, he says RG3 doesn't count, but we'll give him either one. Pick All your right. choice. You know, I there. know he was slower, but he said, I think it was recently as a year or two ago, he still says he's that he fast. can run a 4 3. He's still fast. Uh, pocket awareness was Watson, so same as us. Leadership, Brissett. I think leadership with Brissett was the right answer. I I'm think it was honest. too. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Kudos to our. To our uh, I'm not sure if accurate. So we switched Mayfield and Brissett. We did. So, yeah. a lot of the, the ones we've seen switch, and he had Flacco in the clutch spot. There. And Tim Couch is Jack now. Yes. Uh, Which is and, why and I wanted to throw him in there. He, he, I mean, he was big, but not yeah, big. Yeah, he's, he's Jack now. His he's body now, now is like a linebacker. Yeah. He would not be a prototypical quarter type, no. quarterback body. I thought no. Brady Quinn, same thing. He got messed up in supplements and decided he wanted yeah, to look like, like a cover model for, yeah. you know, In Muscle magazine. He, he was just always lathered up with oil and, or some baby oil. I'm like, bro. You're a quarterback. You know what? It, it, it's funny. When, whenever you see, I'll throw Aaron Rodgers out there. Aaron Rodgers, shirtless. Bad you're like, body. Bro, this is what Aaron Rodgers looks like? Same yeah. thing Brady, same thing yeah. Joe Burrow. Yeah. Yeah. Tom yeah. Brady yeah. famously at the combine yeah. in his picture standing there with no shirt on. You're like, this guy's not going to get Burrow doesn't all. look great with a shirt off. No. Mahomes doesn't look great with a shirt off. No, no and that is, to yeah. me, that is fascinating yeah. because – it is, I think, and I think you guys would agree with this, the most important and the most difficult to play position in all of sports. Oh, sure. And we talk about fitness and health and yeah. all of this. And if you put if you put a lineup of Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Joe Burrow, and Patrick Mahomes, you're talking about four greats. And you take their shirts off, you're gonna be like, these guys are ball boys, right? Even they're not quarterbacks. Even yeah. the old Marino Montana. Yeah, none of those guys were jacked back in the nobody. day. Nobody, no. just regular. And then you take guys that have had that chiseled body that you would think. Now that's yeah. a prototypical football player's body. Yeah. They can't throw accurately. No. They, they're yeah. too muscle bound in their they, shoulder. They be getting tackled and sacked all the time. Uh, you big, you can't run yeah. nobody over. Yeah. And we yeah, got two crazy. more fan submissions I want to get to. Nathan has Tyrod Taylor as the body. Derek Anderson, Tyrod arm strength, Taylor. accuracy, Baker. RG3 for speed, pocket awareness was Deshaun. Leadership, Flacco, and Tim Couch was his I don't understand the Taylor for the body, though. I don't either. Um, he's short. Yeah, he's yeah. undersized for me. And last one here comes from... Whenever Ant switches it, I'll tell you who the last one's from. Okay. It has not Could we add? Mike, like, this was a good exercise. Good job out of you. You know, we need like to this. add another category, uh, drug buyer. That could be Johnny Manziel. <laughs> oh, here's the last one. It took a while. Partier. To yeah, party. Uh, last one comes from Austin. He had Kaiser for the body. Arm strength, Baker. Accuracy, Cody Baker. Kessler. Speed, RG3. Awareness, Flacco. Leadership, Jameis Winston. Which kind of. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't yet. He hasn't played and yet. Clutch to Sean Watson. So I appreciate everyone for having some fun with that. That was uh, good. good exercise. And yeah. I, I like building these things as a group here. So we're yeah. going to keep yeah. doing some. That's a good. Some more as we move forward. Let's talk Guardians in one sec, Jay, after a word from 